there, it's me, Phil Vischer, and we're back again to continue our story. Finally, that last one was a cliffhanger. What about Jesus' followers? What about this helper? What happens next? Now we're up to book number five, the book of Acts. He says they should stay in Jerusalem and wait for a gift that God the Father is going to give them. Something happy known Pentecost. Would you like to know? Yeah, come on, let's hear it. God sent a helper on Pentecost. The name of the helper. It's the Holy Spirit. That's amazing. So what it looked like when the Holy Spirit showed up? Oh, good question. This is interesting stuff. So all of Jesus' followers were together, and suddenly it sounded like a huge wind filled the house, and then something that looked like little tongues of fire came down on each one of them. The Holy Spirit gave Peter the power to get up and speak an amazing message about who Jesus was. Peter proclaimed the good news. The apostles were preaching in the temple almost every day. So the Sadducees had them all arrested and thrown in jail. But that night, an angel came and let them out and then told them to go right back to preaching in the temple. This young man was a Pharisee, a very strict Pharisee, and he thought anyone who followed Jesus should be arrested, or worse. So how does someone who thinks Jesus was wrong end up being the guy who spreads the good news of Jesus farther than anyone else? That's a good story. Uh, Sunday school lady? As Paul was traveling to Damascus, a bright light from the sky hit him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? So Paul started preaching and teaching in Jerusalem, and once again, no one could argue with him. Book of Acts, Jesus sends the Holy Spirit, believers filled with power, preaching, healing, busted out of jail by an angel. Don't miss DVD 11, coming soon.